Hello friends! How are you guys doing? I know it's been a little while. Oh my gosh, so much stuff going on. I know I was supposed to do a uh, video, at least one craft video, last week. But, a few things ended up happening. I, well, I had to go to Massachusetts for a couple of things. And I went to help Aunt Barbara with her book. We actually been her to their house like three times in the past three weeks. And then I had fraud on my bank account. <laughs> so I had to take care of that. And, oh, it's been maybe five days or so. I've been sick. So I haven't been feeling well at all. Uh, and now I don't know necessarily if I'm at the tail end of it. Kind of feels like it. But today's kind of just not been the best day. Uh, but now, the, well, Aiden's starting to feel sick. Matt's starting to feel sick. So, we'll see if it's just going to kind of go around it, the whole house here. Anyway, that's why I haven't been making, haven't made a video. And I'm sure you guys understand. So, this sign came from Family Dollar. And it had all of these metal... Um, it had like five of them, but I've used a few. Um, these metal carrots on here that I, they're okay, but I would do something with them. They're not, I don't necessarily like them the way they are. So I took all that off. I took everything off that was on here and I left the Easter. This is raised. Um, so I left that on here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and stencil happy on here and then put something over here. Just something quick and easy and, and cute. But first things I gotta do is this is white and we all know I don't like white. So I'm gonna just go over it with the um, antiquing wax from Waverly. So it's this. Waverly antiquing wax or antique wax. And it just kind of darkens it up, gives it that old look that I love so much. I just wanted to pick something that was um, a little quicker because I've, you know, I'm up for a short amount of time and then I start to feel pretty bad and then I lay back down. So, <laughs> But I wanted to get something out to you guys. And it's just going to go in like this. I did put water with it so that it's watered down like the rest of it. And then I will come in and wipe it away with my baby wipe. I'm not too worried about wiping away really close to these edges. I actually... Um, I'm fine with the buildup of of the um, antique wax in there because I would end up going in there and doing that anyway. I just I always do that to my words that I uh, that I have. I always make them look like they're old and they've been there a while. This right here that's from the glue, so I don't even mind that. It doesn't bother me at all. I am wiping it away with the grain, or what you would think would be the grain if this was actually real wood. Um, and I'm doing that so that it would look like real wood. This is like MDF, so it's not real wood. But I'm trying to do the distressing and everything in a, in a way that makes it um, feel like it's real wood. So going one direction is a good way to do that. I will come back in and do all of these. These are recessed in, so I am going to go ahead and do those as well, make them darker. Kind of like that other sign I made where it ended up looking like wood, like really old chippy wood. And I will go around all of these edges as well because they're all white. Alright, so now what we need to do is go in with <clears throat> more antique wax and we're going to go in these these edges or these recessed areas here and we're just going to darken those up in there and then kind of blend I don't want to wipe it fully away I just want to kind of blend on this outside area so you can see it's a little bit darker and we'll go over that again with more and also, I will end up going over it with black. Now, I'm very lightly going over it. Alright, so now we need to do these ones, this one down here. Okay, now 
I am, again, just doing all of uh, the brown first, and then I will come in with some black. Just trying to blend. Tamping this. This is a baby wipe. And it's helping to um, blend everything. See, can you see the difference in here versus over here? With how dark it is? And it just makes it look like the word has been on this sign for a very long time. See, I really like that. So what I want to do is do around the edges as well to make them darker as well, like all around here. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this part, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stencil happy on here. And I still don't know what I'm gonna do. I want to do something over here, maybe a bow or something. I'm not sure, um, but something. So what I'm gonna do is actually just use my uh, baby wipe again and kind of get some of this on here and just go around these edges. I want it, I don't want it to necessarily look like I took this and just woo -woo 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 went across it. That's not what I want. Um, so I am gonna lightly, very lightly, I go right, I don't even go to the edge. Just kind of take out those marks that make, see, see what I'm talking about? Don't want that. So I am gonna go over that and lightly take those marks out. Do you see? And you can turn everything. If it's too dark in one area, you can put more if it's not dark enough. You can really just play with this and make it what you want. And again, that's just if this were an antique, that's just where dust and grime and stuff would accumulate. It would be in these areas. It would be around these letters. It would be around the edges more than it would be in the middle. kind of taking that that look out keeping the dark but keep but taking out the tapping marks basically I can't think of the name for it for some reason I know it I just can't think of it so you could go like this as well but to me it doesn't give the same look as this do you see the difference here it's too wiped out this right here gives you see what I mean you can put darker in some areas and then smooth it darker in some areas and then smooth it and you keep it lighter in other areas it's that's why I like doing it this way and then smoothing it think Bob Ross actually that's what this makes me think of when he when he takes a dry um, paintbrush and just goes over everything and he's blending that's that's what I'm trying to do if you don't like this look you could leave it white. You could paint it a different color. You could do whatever you want. But this I'm showing you because this is this is the look I like. I love antiques and I love things that just look old. Okay, there we go. I think that's good for the um, Waverly Antique Wax. So now we're going to go in with the black. And I'm just layering on the antique look. So... I'm not trying to um, cover this completely with black. I just want to layer it. And I'm going to use the same uh, baby wipe. Again, this is when I come in with my finger and use it because I love how when you put it on over the brown, and it's probably because it's, it, the brown is a wax, um, you can put the black on, and um, then when you rub it with your finger, it does it does this. You can see that. Do you see where it's bringing up the undercolor through it? I love how that looks. So if you use your finger, that's how it comes out. All right, guys. So that's all done. So now I have the word happy that I'm going to use. Um, 
was thinking about putting it on this side, but... And then putting something here, like a bow or something, with a carrot? I don't know, but let me see how I want this. I'm just gonna kinda go in and get it on there. This is a paper stencil. They're not the best, but you get the idea. And then you can come in after and, uh, and fix it with a small paintbrush if it bleeds. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It does need another coat though, so I'm gonna go over it one more time. Happy Easter! So, now what I need to do is take a small brush and fill in these bridges. And so now I gotta figure out what I wanna do as far as this side. Do I wanna put a bow here? I have um, those carrots I could redo. Do I really wanna do that though? put carrots here, you know, but I probably need to do three of them. I should just paint these. I have orange uh, paint. This, again, chalk paint. It's pumpkin. It's called pumpkin. So I could just paint it. It's still orange, but... I, if I paint it, then I can go in with uh, the antique wax and um, stain it afterwards. So, let's see how that would work. Definitely covers it. It's, I like the orange better. This orange better. It's a little bit muted. And again, because it's chalk paint, it sticks to it, and I can go in after and um, distress it. Yeah, alright, well, I gotta move this out of the way so I can finish these without getting it yucky. Alright, these are finally dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a baby wipe and go over it. Doesn't need to be fully, but I do want to get it in there and like just make it look a little distressed. Get more on the edges. I do still want the orange to come through, so I'm not I'm not going completely in there. And I may come over this actually with my black um, ink pad to get some of these other raised areas and uh, edges. And I got to figure out what to do with these. These are just that's way too green. It's too bright. So you can see that one of these is um, wavy in the edges and the other two are not. So this one's got wavy edges. This one, these don't. So this one's going to be the one in the middle. Alright, I'm going to grab my ink pad. And I'm just going to go over these edges. Maybe I can go over these two, calm the colors down a little bit. This one's just like twisted completely. A little bit works, yeah. Alright. I'm not being too careful, I just want to get it on there and. This just adds another layer of distress. Bring this over. And so we're going to go these two and then the one in the middle. Just like that. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of make a bow for the middle here and just like big enough to put for all of them, but I think I'm just going to do a regular bow, not not a messy bow. Alright, so I have, I'm just using some leftover ribbon that I had. Um, the bunny ribbon, everybody really liked this actually, and it's too bright obviously for what I do, but I just take what I have, 
So there's there's wax and some black and everything on this already. So I'm just going to go over it and just distress the ribbon. Takes off that newness, takes off the white because these bunnies are white. And people want to know where I got this and actually um yeesh, I don't know where I got it. It could have been Hobby Lobby, it could have been um no, it wouldn't have been Walmart. I think maybe Hobby Lobby or Michaels maybe. So that's probably where I got it, but I got it like a couple years ago, so I really don't 100% remember. All right, so I'm just going to put these together and really making a very, very, very simple bow. I'm just going to scrunch it. And then I will put a tie on here like that. And I actually have a tie right here. Just making this very simple. I'm not putting any tails on it because of uh, the carrots. I'm just going to let those show. I'm going to keep the rabbit ribbon over the other ribbon. This is going to go right there. Very simple. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these on now. That, make sure I have it all placed because I want to make sure I'm gluing it in the right spot. I might need to use some E6000 with this, so I think I'm going to do that, forgetting that these are metal. So I'm going to put my mask on. There is glue on here, but I am going to go ahead and add this. And I kind of got to just add it to some of these areas that I know are going to touch. Just like that. So leave that one there. This one's going to go this way. So let me go ahead and put on the E6000. And then the hot glue. quick make sure I've got it all on correctly all right and then this one so this one trying to see where it touches touches the ends and then this it's got a little metal hook right here and that's where I'm putting this and then glue on uh, the greenery and also down here Ugh, my eyes are burning. Stuff works great, but ugh, it is it is toxic. All right, so that's on there good. So really, all I got to do is put this on and maybe a button in the middle. I just really wanted to keep this pretty simple. This. I don't know. Let's see what a button would do. We'll do a button, why not? I don't get to use these big ones very often, so. So now I just need to thread it. Cut that off. And then push these down. And I will go ahead and distress these a little bit with my ink pad. I think it is simple but cute. It already has a, a um, jute hanger. And there you go. So happy Easter. And um, this will be up in my Etsy shop by the time you see this, see this video as usual. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There's actually quite a bit of you that watch my videos that aren't subscribed. So if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell will notify you every time I post something um, which I hope is to be a lot more coming soon I like I said I think I'm at the end of this 
I'm feeling it right now. It's getting later, so I'm definitely feeling it right now, but feeling better during the day. So hopefully, hopefully it won't be for much longer and I can get back into the swing of things. But you guys have a great night, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.